Hey guys, how's it going? Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We are starting derivatives now, okay? Derivatives are a very, very important part of calculus, okay? Uh, the, measuring the, uh, the derivative of a function is measuring essentially its, its rate of change, okay? You're measuring the, the slope of the tangent of that function, okay? That's, that's essentially what a derivative is, okay? I know a lot of people are confused about that. So let's take a look at the first section of the derivatives part of your calculus course. You're probably going to be looking into the definition, what's called the definition of a derivative. And essentially, after we do this, after we, after we go through this, we're going to learn a lot of tricks on how to find the derivative quickly. We're going to do the quotient rule, the product rule, we're going to do the chain rule. But all of those rules come from this definition of a derivative, okay? And the, the, dif the, dif the definition of a derivative is a limit, actually. And if we, if we look up here, we have it in terms of a, which is in terms of a constant number, or we can write it in terms of x, in terms of a variable, okay? And it's f prime a, and see this prime here? That, is, that represents that we're taking the derivative, okay? So the derivative of f of a is f prime a, and the second derivative will be f double prime a. That's just a notation, so don't get confused by that. And we have that f prime of a is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f a plus h minus f of a over h, okay? And you don't really need to fully understand exactly what this is, I don't think. If you, if you want to know more, there's, there's plenty of resources in your book we're going to focus mainly on solving a problem of this type, but I, I can give you a little bit of a, a little bit of an example. So, for example, for example, you have well, you have a point here, okay, on the on on the function, all right. And if you draw another point here, and we'll call this x, and we'll call that x naught, and you connect these two lines here, okay. As you get closer, and what what this kind of means is you're going to get closer and closer and closer as h approaches zero, so the difference between the functions, okay, because the only difference between these functions, right, is this is a plus h, okay, so there's an h added on here. So as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller, these two functions become the same, and this function eventually becomes the tangent, okay, and that's exactly what we're looking for, okay. So I, I, if, if you do want more of an explanation on that, take a look at your book, and I'm sure there's a lot of good YouTube videos explaining what exactly what process is going on visually, but we're going to just focus on solving a couple problems. So let's get started. So we are asked using the definition of a derivative, which is which is this here. We're going to focus on this one up here. Using the def definition of a derivative, evaluate the derivative of f, f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 9 at the number a. So the number a is just, it could be any number, it could be 5, it could be 20, it could be negative 3. In this question, uh, the number is represented by a. So we're just going to use that, that number as a constant, okay? That letter as a constant. So what you have to do is essentially we're going to take this function, okay, and we're going to rewrite it in, in this term, in, in these terms here. We're going to rewrite it like this, and if the limit exists, then the derivative exists, okay? So let's start by writing out limit as h approaches zero. And for the first part here, we have f of a plus h, okay? We are going to take this here, and for every time that we have an x, we're going to plug in a plus h. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a plus h squared minus 8a plus h plus 9 divided by, all right? This is going to all be divided by h. And we have a minus here. And for every a that we have here, we're just, for every x, sorry, that we have here, we're just gonna plug in a, all right, for the second, second term here. So for the first term, we plugged in a plus h for each x. And I'm just gonna put a bracket here so we, we can just separate the two. And for the second part, we are going to plug in a. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a squared minus, right, plugging in a, 8a plus 9. Okay, and assuming that the, the limit exists, we can, evaluating this will give us the slope of the tangent, okay? And that's exactly what we want. 
So let's take a look. And if we plug in H, as we remember from our limit videos before, if we plug in H directly here, we're going to get an undefined function, okay? So we have to do something in order to maybe get rid of that H, try and cancel it out so that we aren't dividing by zero. And we can do that by just go ahead and simplify this, do it on your own time, do it as practice, please pause the video and do, you know, simplify this as much as you can and see if you get the same answer, okay? I'm not gonna do it because we're gonna try and keep this video short, but just expand that, expand this bracket out, and then you'll see that a lot of these terms are going to end up canceling, all right? And once those terms cancel, then you'll be able to, you know, start to, to solve for what we're looking for, which is the slope. So I am going to just skip ahead a couple steps, and we end up with, after simplifying, 2AH plus H squared minus 8H over H. Perfect. And as we can see here, we can factor an H out of the top and cancel that with the bottom, okay? That's going to lead to us getting an answer of 2A plus H minus 8, right? Now, we can apply this H limit in, and you know, we have a defined output after, which is what we want, right? And that is going to give us F prime A is equal to 2A minus 8. Okay, so well, what do we have there? We just found the derivative of this function up here, okay? Very perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. And we're going to use this derivative to find a little bit more out about the, we're going to use this derivative to find the tangent line, the equation of the tangent line of this function. And how do we do that? Well, as we discussed before, the derivative is equal to the slope of the tangent, okay? The slope of the tangent is the derivative. That's one thing you need to remember. And the question here asks us to find the equation of the tangent line of f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 9 at the point 3, negative 6. So, if, you'll, if you've been paying attention up to this point, you'll know that we already solved for the derivative of that using the definition of a derivative, and we found it to be 2a minus 8. So, let's get started. We have that the slope is equal to f prime of a, which is equal to 2a minus 8. Very good. Now, in this case, our a value here is our x value, all right? Our a is our x value, so we're going to go ahead and plug in 3 into our slope here. And that is going to give us a value of negative 2. So our slope is negative 2, all right? And if you'll recall back maybe to high school days, we have the point slope form of the equation of a line. And it is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And we can use that to solve for the equation of a line if we have the slope and we have two points, okay? And if we take a look at the question, what's given, we have the slope because we use the derivative to find it. And we have the two points on the line. So all we need to do is plug those in and find the equation for this line. Let's do that. So our y value here is negative 6, right? Our slope is negative 2. We already came to that conclusion there. And our x value is going to be 3. Okay, and if we go ahead and expand that, go ahead and do that on your own, we should arrive at the conclusion that y is equal to negative 2x. And that is the equation of the tangent of this line at point 3, negative 6. So we could just do a little rough sketch and you can see exactly what that looks like. Is, and if you want to go ahead and put this in a graphing calculator or something, that, that also helps because looking at it visually really does help you understand what's going on. So if we say that this point here is 3 and negative 6, that's the point that we were asked to find the tangent line at. Okay, the tangent line is going to look like this. Okay, that's going to be our tangent and that's going to be y equals negative 2x. Okay, or the slope of this line is equal to negative 2. So, 
that's it. We solved a rather simple problem, I would say, for the definition of a derivative. This is something that you could expect on your first or second midterm for Calculus 1 in university. It's not too complicated. Do a couple practice problems on this. We, in the next section, we're going to go over some of the more simple rules for finding derivatives, some of the shortcuts, but you need to know this in order to understand that. So, thanks for watching, guys.